Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have an organization video for you guys. Today we will be organizing my, well parts of my kitchen as well as my closet. So if you guys are interested then just keep on watching. But before we begin let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free so go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Especially for my fall videos, I go all out. Um, at least for me, I go all out uh, during fall and even Christmas time. So, subscribe. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, so we just moved in to this house not too long ago and I was just trying to show you guys the paneling on the wall. Um, my husband and I actually did all of it by ourselves and I was just so proud of us. Um, we had this great big hallway that was just super plain and we thought we would spruce it up with some paneling and then my husband liked it so much that he wanted it in his office. So we ended up doing his office as well and this was when we slowly started to move back all of the furniture and it looks so good you guys oh my gosh it looks uh, it just makes the house look a little bit more fancy so um i love it and i was just so proud of us that i i wanted to share it with you guys <laughs> so anyways um this is the organizational part of the video um these are all of my organizers i have recently hauled a few of these items um if not all of these items uh, I will link that video down below. I posted it a couple of weeks ago and uh, I think all of them were actually from Amazon. So very easy to find. So let's just get started with the tea bags. Um, this is the smallest pantry that I've had to work with. Uh, my past houses have all had huge pantries and this one, I mean, it's not terrible, but it is smaller than the previous ones so I just desperately needed to clean everything out and just find organizers that would really help me optimize my space and this little guy is for all my tea bags I had just a bunch of random tea bags and so I decided to start with that you know start small <laughs> um, and I kind of did it in a color gradient just to make it even more pleasing to the eye and I really like how it turned out and it just has all of my teas just in order I know exactly where they are I know if I have too much too little tea um, before I think I mentioned in a previous video I just kept buying tea um, like every grocery visit because I was like oh I don't think I have any but now I know for sure because it's just right there and I just love how organized it looks and then for the bottom drawer, I actually ended up putting my hot cocoa in it um, because I just had a few packets left and so just thought I would use it for hot cocoa. This next organizer is incredible. It is for all of those Keurig lovers out there. If you don't have one, you need one. I absolutely love this. Um, you can place your Keurig right on top and it kind of acts like a base and then all of your Keurig cups you just neatly put in this organizer and it is so like satisfying I don't even have any other words it's just so satisfying to see everything just in order in its place and I absolutely love it how amazing does that look oh my goodness um yes very very satisfying to finally put everything just in order and as you can see we only buy like one type of Keurig but <laughs> I think it's the donut shop kind it's my husband's favorite um but it looks so amazing he actually helped me um put all of that in because I was having some difficulty with filming and doing it all by myself but anyways um, I was able to empty out a bunch of those Keurig boxes as well as these boxes and it just freed up so much room in my pantry and I just love it. And here is my final little coffee slash tea station. I have my Keurig stand with my Keurig on top, my little tea holders, honey, and then I have my little central perk sign and I noticed that something something was just missing. 
something was missing and I figured it out. It needed a Mickey. So there I am adding a little bobblehead Mickey <laughs> just for that little bit of Disney touch. I also found these baskets um, from Amazon and they just hook so conveniently just down there and you can also double up. I think they can hook like under each other and it saves so much room. I actually ended up putting all of my aluminum foil and um, I think it was like wax paper or whatever down in there and again, I mean it's just like out of the way and I know exactly where everything is and I love it. And the other one actually ended up holding all of my Pringles chips. <laughs> this is another organizer I shared and um, in that video. And this is like a tiered shelf. And I placed all of my spices on there. And it saved so much room. I had footage of the before and after. And I have no clue where it went. Okay, so I had to just retake some of the footage. Um, it's not as neat and tidy as it first was because uh, we added much more food and it's a little bit more overflowing, but it made such a huge difference and I absolutely love it now. Everything, like you can actually see everything. And then this cabinet, um, I added in a Lazy Susan. This was the before and then this is the after. And then this cabinet is the one that holds all of my glasses and water bottles and my coffee mugs. So we just redid the shelving and made everything fit. This cabinet is actually kind of like the overflow for the pantry. Um, I tried to put most of my baking stuff in this um, cabinet. And this is after I took all of the Keurig stuff out and then I organized it with some of my little bins and all of that and as you can see it's much easier to see. Here I'm just showing you the organizers that I used. Um, I try to use the organizers that I already had. Um, these are I think called Pop. They're by OXO and I had hauled them in a previous haul video but um, they're all right. They're not the best. They're very, very expensive. And for that price, I expect it to be a lot better than it is. Um, the top, especially when it's holding something a little bit heavy, like for example, this oats one, like it, it kind of like pops off the top, which it, that's not supposed to happen. So I don't know. I need to find some better canisters, but for now, I'm just using what I have because again, these were very, very pricey. The only thing is like the top is very satisfying to push in, push out, but the container, it, it just kind of, it's, I don't even think it's airtight. So I would just not waste your money on, my, on these at least. Moving on to the closet, I have these little multiple hanger things that I actually used for my husband's pants. And I got rid of a bunch of those hangers because I replaced them like five different hangers with just that one hanger which is so awesome so good to consolidate uh, I did it for his ties as well there you can see all of his pants right there it's very nice and just it's easy to see everything um, I tried to keep all the light colors together but he has more dark pants than light pants so I tried my best but it's still very, very nice. Um, it's not as tidy um, because I was trying to do it one-handed, but I did go back and try to fix it, make it look uh, very pretty. But uh, yes, it looks very nice. Um, I got rid of, I think from using two of those, I got rid of like 10 hangers and it made so much more room on his side of the closet. Next, we have these expandable drawer dividers and also from Amazon. These made such a difference. Um, we have a lot of drawers. We recently got a bunch of new drawers from Ikea and then we also had previous ones from our previous uh, furniture when we first got married. And a lot of our clothes are actually folded and this helped so much. I kind of tried to do like the Marie Kondo folding, um, you know, previously. And that's also what I did now, but it would still just fall over, especially depending on the type of material of the cloth. But 
these drawer dividers help to keep everything in place. And they also come with like little wooden mothballs, actually. That's what you see right there. But, um, and once that mothball, whatever, um, solution that they used kind of dries up, you can always reuse those wooden balls and put kind of like, uh, I was thinking of using essential oils and make your clothes smell really great. But these are really amazing. They were the most affordable for sure. So um, they probably won't be as good as like the super expensive kind, but I mean, it was perfect for what I needed them for. And like, those are all of my husband's pants and they would just fall all over the place, no matter how neatly I folded his pants. But now it just stays put each in their own little lane and I love it. But we will be coming back to these, so keep watching. Um, I will be going back and forth with the voiceover. So as you can see here, I have a lot of organizers. I guess I didn't realize how many would be in one packet or package. Um, I did end up getting two packages or two orders of this organizer, so anyways, um, this is what it looks like, you just zip it up like this, and oh gosh, and it just pops open like that and then you zip it in place, really cool. Okay, so I just grouped them together. These are all these little cube ones. There's a whole bunch of them, as you can see. Then there's quite a few of these big open squares. And there's two of these little ones. You can use these for underwear, for socks. Then we have quite a few of these. And then there's two of these. Um, you can store your bras in here, so that'll be nice. And then four of these, which are very similar to, to that one, just half the size. So before I organize, I like to <laughs> group everything together just to see what all I have and then start planning from there. And so the ones I know for sure I'm going to be using for certain things, like for example, these cubes, I know for sure I'm going to be using at least two of them for my masks and my husband's masks. So I'm going to start with that and work from there. But before I do that, I'm going to start clearing out this drawer because it's full of our belts. And my husband um, actually installed these hooks right over here, right on either side, one for his belts and one for mine. So I'm going to do that first so I can just clear out one shelf. Okay, so th these hooks, I don't know if I said already, but I actually got these from Home Depot. They are very, very tiny hooks. Um, <laughs> they can only fit just a couple of belts at a time. Uh, I managed to get most of my husband's belts on his side, and then these are my belts. And um, these are all the ones that weren't able to hook on. Oh, those are my knees. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, um, these don't have like a like a buckle to hook them on. So I'm going to be using hopefully one of these dividers to store these belts and these as well. So up until now, this is how I've been storing my masks just in a little bag. So I'm excited to transfer these over to these nicer looking little dividers. Alrighty, these are all of mine. These are all of my husband's. I actually ended up using three. Um, this one's mine, my husband's, and these are the ones that we don't normally wear, but if we do run out of clean masks, we'll have to go to these. I have my huge mountain of socks. <laughs> um, I didn't realize how many socks I have. This is after I donated like half so i just uh, i don't understand uh, anyways i'm gonna try and see if i can get rid of a few more and also put the socks in here so this is just an update so far so good i've even been able to do 
like two pairs in one square if you want to save more room but this sock it's a brand new sock never been used and the other sock is with my sister and it's been like five years now and they have yet to be reunited so sister if you're watching this look for the sock because i know you have it i'll keep you updated about the sock and see if they ever get reunited so right now i've moved on to my little tank tops and i am showing you how i'm folding these i'm just folding them in thirds and then just tucking in the straps and then slowly rolling inwards this is hard to do with one hand but so you get a little burrito like this and it fits in perfectly and I put all of my neutral ones in one um, little box and I put my colorful ones in the other moving on I found these random like pantyhose and stuff like that I need to figure out how to store those but I already did store the other belts that couldn't hang up on those hooks these are my husband's belts, and these are mine. Okay, so, so far, two drawers are empty. And, oh, this one too. This one's empty. Now I'm working on this one. It has all of our scarves and um, winter stuff. So I am using one of the boxes for our hats. <laughs> say our but they're they're mainly mine but you know that's okay oh yeah my Christmas hat <laughs> and I'm gonna use another little box for my gloves okay so <laughs> I had to really squeeze in his scarves in here this one is just a really big scarf really chubby scarf but um I made it fit. <laughs> These are just all of my like underskirts for like Indian clothes that I literally have never worn. So I'm just gonna push these to the back. And these are my husband's scarves that I'm going to put in our hats and stuff. And those are the gloves. I was finally able to figure out the layout for this drawer. Um, sorry I, uh, that I don't have like a little stand or anything for my phone, but it's just me filming and it's hard to film with just one hand and do everything else with the other hand. So anyways, um, these are pretty much all of our winter stuff. My little underskirt things, my husband's scarves, our winter hats, um, and then our masks right here, and then our gloves, and then these, these are like little sleep kits from like when we've traveled in the past. Uh, I just like to keep them around in case if we ever have guests and they want like a sleep mask or something, they can use this that's never been used before. So anyways, that is the first desk. Uh, first desk. Oh my gosh. First drawer. Whew, first drawer. Um, and everything fits so perfectly. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but these are the mom drawers from Ikea. And we have five of them and they work perfectly in our closet. And these work perfectly in those mom drawers. Um, they're just like a, an inch shorter than the drawers, but it's perfect and I love these so far. This is the next drawer up and I moved some things around. These are my belts and my husband's belts and then I moved the masks up here so that we don't have to bend down so far to find our masks and that kind of freed up a little bit of space here and then I found his gloves, my husband's gloves. So I had to make room for that too. But still looking very neat and tidy. I really like it. Now moving on to my sock drawer. Um, these are all of my socks. These are all of the ankle socks. And then I have my fuzzy socks 
and my seasonal socks. I have like Christmas and Valentine's Day and everything. And then these are my compression socks. And over here, these are my knee-high socks and pantyhose. I, I never wear pantyhose and I don't know why or how I have this much because I've never bought pantyhose ever. Anyways, so I'm gonna try to figure out how to squeeze all of that in, hopefully into one drawer. Okay, so I was able to fit everything in here, all of my socks. That is really nice to see. They all fit. I put all the pantyhose all the way in the back because I never wear those. And then my knee-high socks also in the back. My compression socks and my seasonal socks are here. My fuzzy socks. And then these are just brand new ankle socks that I haven't worn yet, so I just kept them in the middle. And that is my sock drawer. I'm trying to figure out this last drawer, and I guess I'm, I'm just gonna try and squeeze in these little camis down here, because I rarely ever wear these anyways. So I always go with the ones that I wear the least, um, like all the way in the back. And let's see. I'm more likely to wear neutral colors now, so we have that. That is all the trash, by the way. All of this was in my drawers. So thankfully I'm getting rid of all of that. And now I have these to deal with. I've already used one of them for my husband's sock and underwear drawer. So I'm going to continue with those and kind of use them in order to keep like his stuff from falling over like his shorts would always fall over and this has helped with that so i'm gonna continue to do that with all the rest of the drawers i love using these for my husband's clothes because he is a total beast when it comes to taking out his clothes from the drawer i'll spend hours making it perfect and he'll just come in and just grab it and everything just falls over so this is why i really wanted these for his drawer <laughs> Alrighty, this is just a little overview of how all of his t-shirts and everything looked. I tried to kind of group them according to color so that it looks very pretty. And I also used these drawer dividers for my t-shirts and my PJs and my jeans. And everything just looks so neat and tidy. I absolutely love it. And that concludes this Organize With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!